This week on Battle of the Brands, we went 10 rounds with the reigning champs of the grow light industry. The hard hitting matchup between Gavita, double ended bulbs, and the best selling kind LED grow lights was one for the ages. If you missed the fight, never fear. We have a quick blow for blow breakdown of the action right here. But if you hate spoilers, you're going to want to click the link below and see the full fight and get all the details with the round for round play by play. For those on the go, here's the matchup at a glance. It had the promise of an epic brawl, but Kine took round one giving off very little heat and growing strong without the need for additional cooling components. Gavita couldn't keep cool enough to take this one, doubling down on one of the major flaws of using HID lights. Round two was a sweep for Kind as well, doing the job of the leading HID bulbs at 40% less power consumption. Gavita had to come clean here, they're coming in at 1200 watts, and they need additional wattage of AC cooling power to be viable. Kind went the distance in round three, boasting five times the lifespan at 50,000 hours of operation, giving you more grow without having to change your bulbs or replace lights. Gavita simply couldn't keep up with its maximum 10,000 hours. Round four gave Kind the edge in safety and environmental impact. No mercury in the kind lights and definitely no risk of burning the house down. Gavita's heat and mercury content was just too risky to make up some of the ground here. Round five saw our first draw of the night, giving the edge in yield to Gavita, but kind taking the cake in the quality category. And round six gave us the shock of the evening when Kind broke down the digits and showed us just how efficient your grow can be, hitting hard with an amazing 1.378 grams per watt return. Gavita just couldn't match up and went down in a blaze of glory, no pun intended. To catch this fight and more to come, click the link below and join us as we go 10 rounds with the top brands on the market to find out who makes the cut and who gets the boot.